My name is Mark Tompkins. I'm the Western Regional Sales Manager at ABK. And today, along with Kent Culbertson, the Eastern Regional Sales Manager, we're going to take you through our webinar, ABK Products 101. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we will start a view of the company. Uh, I'll discuss our fire hydrant line. And later on in the presentation, uh, Kent Culbertson will come back on and he will go over our series of gate valves, butterfly valves, check valves, and then we'll wind up with our plug valves. To give you a brief overview of American AVK, uh, again, although we were founded in Denmark, we came to the United States and set up shop in San Francisco in 1985. Uh, from there, we moved to Fresno, California in 1990. And then finally, in 2007, we ended up at our current location in Menin, Nevada, which is about 40 miles south of Reno, where we built a 180,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility on 25 acres. So we've been in the United States for about 35 years now. All of our products are manufactured in our Menden facility. Uh, this is a snapshot of our factory. Uh, ABK is also an ISO 9001 and 14001 certified facility. Uh, 9001 ensures quality at the highest level and 14001 is for maintaining environmental standards. In addition to our factory, ABK has two more distribution centers, one located in Omaha, Nebraska, and one located in Nashville, Tennessee. Now this allows us delivery of in-stock products to anywhere in the United States within 24 to 48 hours. And an average of six days for delivery on those items that need to be manufactured in our Menden facility. Now, please keep in mind that some specialty items may take longer. Well, we'll start off our discussion today with our fire hydrants. ABK manufactures two different types of fire hydrants, both a dry barrel and a wet barrel fire hydrant. Typically, a wet barrel fire hydrant is installed in an area that has non-freezing climates, whereas a dry barrel fire hydrant will be typically installed in an area where they do have freezing climates. Well, let's start off today talking about our Series 27 dry barrel fire hydrant. We'll basically go over just a few of the key features, such as our one-piece main valve. We'll talk about our HIMAX shoe, and then we'll also talk about our Flow Guard 1. There are two Series 27 AVK fire hydrants, uh, the nostalgic style, the red hydrant on the left, and we have a modern style, which is the yellow hydrant on the right. Now, both of those 27 hydrants have a standard six inch MJ shoe. They both also have a standard inch and a half Pentagon operating nut. And the parts for the 2700 and 2780 are interchangeable. And both of our series 27 hydrants do have a 10 year warranty. All of our fire hydrants and gate valves do have a unique serial number. On our fire hydrant, that serial number is located on the top of our op nut. This unique number indicates the date of manufacture, testing results, construction materials, and any shipping information. This is for full traceability to allow for the industry's quickest and most comprehensive customer service. Now let's look at the bottom of the fire hydrant where one of our most important features is located, the one piece main valve. Our main valve design helps eliminate a large number of parts which are used by most of our competitors when they build their hydrants. This helps you reduce your parts inventory and also makes it a lot easier to replace in the field. Uh, our main valve is a ductile iron core encapsulated in EPDM rubber. Now, EPDM is resistant to chlorine and other disinfectants, so it does have a long life, and it's also very durable. It has a very good memory. Uh, our main valve has a shore hardness of the rubber of 85, which means that if a rock gets embedded in the hydrant, just open the hydrant up, flush it, let the rock come out, and then over time, the main valve should regain its shape. Because of this, uh, AVK feels very confident in our main valve. We have a 25 year warranty on our one piece main valve.
we have a very broad product range for the Series 27 fire hydrants, but let's start with a list of the nozzle configurations that are available. Please keep in mind that not all configurations are available for both the 2780 and the 2700. It's important to remember that some of the nozzle configurations, such as the single pumper nozzle, may not be recognized by UL or FM. The 2780, or nostalgic, on the left, can be configured with a standard three outlet, two hose outlet, two pumper outlets, or a single pumper outlet. Now the 2700, or the modern style hydrant located on the right, uh, also can come as a three outlet hydrant, two pumper outlets, or a single pumper outlet. Now there's also an alpine style for snowy environments that you see there in the middle, the tall one. So you can have the hydrant above the snow level, but it can also be configured as a monitor hydrant for fire protection applications, as you see in the bottom right. Remember that all parts are interchangeable between the 2700 and the 2780 hydrant styles, such as the main valve, gaskets, top nuts, nozzles, O-rings, and also caps. Also, one of our newest and most innovative end connections for our hydrant is the HIMAX connection. Uh, there are many situations that hydrants may require additional restraining power, and our HIMAX coupling can provide that. It's a one bolt solution. Now, also in response to the threat of water distribution system contamination through a fire hydrant, American AVK also developed the FlowGuard 1 fire hydrant security check valve for use with our AVK Series 27 dry barrel fire hydrant. The FlowGuard 1 swing check valve is modeled on our proven technology that's used in our Series 41 swing check valve, which later on in the presentation, uh, Kent will also touch upon. An important feature of the FlowGuard 1 is that it will fit on any manufacturer's dry barrel fire hydrant with a six inch mechanical joint at the inlet. Now we're gonna also briefly talk about our other dry barrel hydrant, the Series 67 post hydrant. Of course, the 67 is called a post hydrant or a flushing hydrant, and it is a self-draining dry barrel fire hydrant. The 67 is primarily used for flushing stagnant water and mineral deposits from potable water pipelines. Larger cities can also use them for sample stations, uh, to fill up trucks. Also, and there's a yard hydrant to wash out trucks. But in some rural areas where there may not have a fire protection system due to the size of the water mains, you may find flushing hydrants are spread throughout their systems. Well, so why isn't the 67 approved for fire protection? Well, that's a good question. The AWWA requires that hydrants intended for fire protection use a minimum of two hose outlets and a four inch minimum valve opening. As you can see from the screen here, the Series 67 only has a two and a quarter inch valve opening and only one standard two and a half inch hose nozzle. Now, AVK has designed our post hydrant to operate identical to our larger Series 27 fire hydrant. The Series 67 hydrant is equipped with the same two and a half inch hose outlet that is used on the larger Series 27. And a a uh, hose can be connected to the Series 67 hydrant if that is the only source of water available. The 67 hydrant is rated for 250 PSI and both seat and shell tested to 500 PSI per AWWA C502 standards. And again, one of the most important features of our post hydrant is our unique one piece main valve. It's very similar to his cousin. Uh, again, it is a fully ductile iron core that's encapsulated with EPDM rubber. Again, it does eliminate many parts like the Series 27, so it does reduce parts inventory and it does make it easy to replace in the field. The main valve also incorporates a rubber rib developed identical to our Series 27 hydro flow main valve 
to also help reduce the chance of a water hammer. Some connection options available for the Series 67 are an NPT connection, MJ, flanged, and we also offer a HIMAX grip. The Series 67 does have a one-year warranty. Now let's talk a little bit about our Series 24 wet barrel fire hydrant. The configurations for the wet barrel, uh, AVK offers a one pumper, two hose pattern, a two pumper, one hose pattern, and a one pumper, one hose pattern. The pumper nozzles can be four or four and a half inch. The hose nozzles are two and a half inch. AVK offers many different thread types, including stores nozzles for the two and a half inch hose or the pumper nozzle. The AVK Series 24 wet barrel hydrant can also be equipped with a check valve called the Flow Guard 2. The check valve prevents flow out of the water system in case the fire hydrant is knocked off in an accident. Occasionally you'll see water jetting up from a wet barrel hydrant that's been knocked over and it does create quite a fountain, but this won't happen with the wet barrel hydrant if it's equipped with a flow guard 2. If a flow guard 2 is installed, there will only be two small jets of water spraying out of the fire hydrant and that's just to help indicate that the fire hydrant has been damaged. Another important feature is the Flow Guard 2 check valve is also bi-directional. It prevents contamination or cross connections of the distribution system. ABK is the only manufacturer that produces a check valve that can do this. And another important feature to note is that the Flow Guard 2 has also been designed so that it will fit on all manufacturers' wet barrel fire hydrants. And with that, I'm going to turn the seminar over to Kent Culbertson to discuss our gate valves. Kent? Thank you, Mark. We're first going to discuss the Series 03, Series 45, and Series 65 gate valves. Each of the valves has a 10-year warranty, and we're proud of the quality of the gate valves and stand behind our 10-year warranty. To ensure the customer's health and safety, all Series 03, 45, and 65 gate valves are certified to NSF 61 standards for safe drinking water and to NSF 372 for the low lead requirements of the Safe Drinking Water Act. Standard bolting material for all AVK gate valve bonnets is 316 stainless steel. The bolts are not secured with nut fasteners through an open flange, but are instead threaded directly into the valve body. As you can see, the O-ring bonnet gasket also wraps each bolt to prevent corrosion. This design completely isolates the bonnet bolts from any contact with water from inside or outside the valve. If many years from now the valve's taken apart, the bonnet bolts still will look brand new. Series 45 and 65 gate valves are fusion bonded epoxy coated. Polyurethane or PUR coatings are also available as an option if you have active corrosive soil conditions and that is an exterior only application. As Mark talked about earlier, the HIMAX grip is an optional connection now. It's a fast and easy one bolt connection for all pipe types. It's flexible and self-restrained. The HIMAX grip meets or exceeds all specs for the AWWAC 219, NSF 61, and NSF 372. In the Series 45, an MJ by flange tapping valve is available with a special body casting that has a wedge cavity offset towards the flanged end of the valve. This allows enough room to retract, retract the shell cutter after the cut's been made and close the wedge in order to remove the tapping machine from the now pressurized tapping valve. 
The Series 65 C515 can also be used as a tapping valve, but it does not have a centering ring. The Series 45 MJ by MJ can also be ordered as a cut-in valve with one end machined to accommodate larger diameter pipe. Cut-in valves can be used to connect old pit cast gray iron pipe, asbestos cement pipe, or any other pipe that you might have in your system with a larger OD than standard. A cut-in valve involves cutting in the main water line, installing a new T valve and a branch line. The cut-in valve is used along with the cut-in sleeve to insert a valve when the pipe is required. The cut-in sleeves are available from various manufacturers. AVK Series 45 valves are also available as post indicator valves with the mounting plate on the top of the flange to allow a post indicator to be installed. The Series 45 may also be used with wall indicators. However, the AVK wall indicator does not require the mounting plate. A special mounting flange is provided along with a machine stem for actuator valves and these can be ordered in NRS or OSNY configurations. The mounting flange and the stem comply to the dimensional requirements of ISO 5210 and the MSS SP102 standard for actuators. As we've discussed elsewhere, the Series 45 valves range from 2 to 16 inch and are available in NRS or OSNY configurations. Hand wheels are standard on the OSNY and are also available on the NRS as an option. Next, we're going to touch on the Series 55 large diameter gate valves. NRS gate valves are available in the Series 55 from 18 to 36 inch diameter, with OSNY ranging from 18 to 24 inch. Again, OSNY, OSNY come with the hand wheel standard and the hand wheel is available as an option on the NRS. In the Series 55, valve bodies are available with flange by flange, MJ by MJ, and MJ by flange, flange in connections. The Series 55 valve bodies and bonnets are made from ductile iron. The gland flange, wrench nut, and wedge core are also ductile iron with 316 stainless steel bolting standard. These valves have fusion bonded epoxy coating to AWWA C550. A mounting flange along with a keyed stem is standard equipment on all Series 55 valves so that a gearbox or electric actuator may be installed and both the mounting flange and the stem are standard dimensions. The Series 55 carries a 10-year warranty. You also see here a special order Series 55 that included a triple bypass system. We're very happy to provide solutions for unique requests such as this. And next week, Sawyer Heidish will give an in-depth Series 55 webinar. Please log on to that. Next, we're going to talk about butterfly valves. We offer an 816 and a 766. The 816 butterfly valve was developed specifically for the North American market. As you may know, butterfly valves have a tendency to leak, but AVK has solved that problem. AVK is one of the largest manufacturers of butterfly valves worldwide, and we've been manufacturing butterfly valves for over 20 years. Common pressure classes for the 816 are 150B for the 150 PSI or 250B for the 250 PSI. All AVK 816s are now 250B standard. The B is the AWWA C504 designation for a flow rate of at least 16 feet per second. The valves are bi-directional because of the way they're designed. The AWWA standard requires you to test in one direction, which we do, but we do not charge additional on the 816 for bi-directional certification. 
Accessories available for the 816 are electric motor operators, pneumatic operators for the smaller sizes. We also have hand levers that can mount on the three to eight inch wafer and flange. Next, we're gonna talk about AVK 766. This valve is available in 24 to 48 inch and it's a double eccentric butterfly valve. The 766 meets or exceeds the requirements of C504 and the coatings exceed AWWA C550. The 766 butterfly valves are certified to NSF61 for the health effects of drinking water and NSF372 for the low lead requirements of the Safe Drinking Water Act. The big advantage of the 766 is the MJ version. The MJ is long enough that it can be installed with PVC pipe without having to bevel the pipe for disc clearance. It can also accommodate some HDPE pipe. Most of our competitors, arguably all, require the PVC pipe edges to be beveled. Another way AVK can save you time and money through this innovation and design. In connections for the 766 full range or flange by flange or MJ by MJ, they can be ordered in 150B or 250B. And again, the B stands for 16 feet per second. You will see specs from time to time that are 150A or 250A for a flow rate of eight feet per second. But again, we focus on the 250 and 150B. The valves do have a preferred direction of flow but for an added cost can be certified by directional tested as needed. The accessories available for the 766 butterfly valves are traveling nut gearboxes, rotor worm gears, and electric motor operators. Other accessories will be developed as requested and will most likely include extension stands, pneumatic operators, ground level position indicators, hydraulic cylinder actuators, and possibly different colors. We are pleased to offer a one-year warranty on the butterfly valves. Now we're gonna to touch on check valves. First up is the AVK Series 41 swing check valve. The Series 41 meets or exceeds all AWWA C508 requirements and also AWWA C515 for standard for coatings. The check valve is certified to NSF61 for health effects of drinking water and also NSF372 for low lead content. An overview here is that there are three seating options for this valve. The most common seating option is resilient seat, seating against the epoxy coated ductile iron in the valve body. There's also a seat which seats against a bronze ring in the valve body, and then far less common is a bronze ring on the disc, which will seat against a bronze, bronze ring in the valve body. AVK has a ball check valve for wastewater applications where swing checks do not function properly. AVK Worldwide has two different versions of the ball check valve. The first was developed by AVK International for international markets. This Series 53 check valve is equipped with ISO flanges. The second was developed by Helen Delelli or HDL in the Netherlands. That ball check valve known as the HDL 5087 is equipped with ANSI flanges. In 2006, AVK purchased HDL and renamed the HDL 5087 Series 53. So in the United States, that is what we sell, the ANSI flanged Series 53. Coatings for the Series 53 meter exceed AWWA C550. And as with all AVK products, they're manufactured in an ISO 9001, ISO 14001 certified facility. We're also gonna to touch on the plug valves. 
The AVK ser Series 764 is an eccentric plug valve that's a quarter turn obstacle free bore. It's been adapted for pump control shutoff and throttling service with bi directional flow in applications where wastewater is contaminated with fibrous particles or hydrocarbon residue. It's available in flange by flange with gearing. The plug is fully vulcanized with AVK's own hydrocarbon resistant NBR rubber. And due to the rubber's robust, robust design, double bonding vulcanization, and its ability to regain its original shape, this plug valve has outstanding durability. The valve seat is corrosion resistant, welded nickel with a full port design that allows high flow capability. An ISO 5211 actuator flange is incorporated into the valve housing. And of course it has the fusion bonded epoxy coating, internal and external. I'd like you all to pay attention to this next part because we're gonna have some questions about this later. If you're a distributor, please pay close attention to the AVK customer portal. This is a service you can contact your territory manager about, and they will provide you with login and secure password information. And there you can look up your order details, sales order quantities, quantities shipped, items that are ready to ship, scheduled shipment dates, the truck number that we've actually shipped on, production date, dates, and more. So this is very important and we want you to be aware of this service. Lastly, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the AVK website. Here you can take a virtual tour of the AVK manufacturing facility. You can download data sheets or specification sheets as some people call them. You can watch installation and maintenance videos and view brochures. We also have an online training program called AVK Certified. Here you can take online training courses for over 50 different subjects that range from things such as simple as determining the buried depth of a fire hydrant, all the way to changing the signal or target on a post indicator valve. Well, again, we this is the end of our webinar today, and we do appreciate you uh, logging on to view it with us. Again, my name is Mark Tompkins. Uh, this is my contact information on the left, and also Kent Culbertson's. Uh, you can also go to AmericanAVK.com and look up your territory manager, or please feel free to contact us. We appreciate your time.